Fantastic. The other day I got into an argument with my girlfriend, right? She likes watching the Oprah Winfrey show, and I love to watch her watch the Oprah show. And then I wait for Oprah to say something that I don't agree with, and then I take it out of my girlfriend. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> so, what is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus, and I have a very special guest in the building, my side Bia. How you doing, side BB? I'm just kidding. This is my main chick, my wife. The only. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take. I'll take what I can get in these days. Yeah. How Your are you hands doing? Are cold. I know. I know. Anyways, it's I'm weird. It's weird, like being separated in this mic because I would have been like, "Hey, baby. Hey, how you doing?" But I got to <laughs> You know what I mean? I, I got a show to run. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is my wife. Um, I'm not gonna say her real name. I almost just slipped it out. We're just gonna call you Wifey okay. when you're on the program. So the, all the weirdos on YouTube, they're yo man. They be put anyways. I think when I say stuff, it like makes them be like, "Oh, I'm going to say it. anyways." Oh, all, right, yeah. all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you guys, now my wife is a mother. She's a she's a G mom, and um, I just wanted to see what would happen if I put her in front of Bill Burr's motherhood isn't the hardest job. I mean, just the title is triggering. <laughs> so. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> Yo, so, so so you guys, I'm risking my Saturday of joy. We're gonna have a good Saturday. I'm risking it for you guys right now. So let's see what my wife thinks of Bill Burr motherhood. Isn't the hardest job. All right, you guys, before we get started, don't forget to like, share, comment on all the content. But if you rock with the vibe, subscribe. And here we go. 40. 40 year old what? boys are back in town. 40. Boys are back in town. 40 year old what? Boys what? are back in town. the 40 I was dancing though hey hey um someone's like yo you should come out uh, on stage with a live band playing it like and you're like the oh. boys are back. <laughs> anyways all right let me get this logo down pull the video up you guys don't forget to support the original content on the channel we just dropped a really fresh interview with mc supernatural the father of freestyle but we got interviews with tech nine ren i drop music music videos and i'm going to be doing some collabs i'm trying to do some collabs with beatboxers and other YouTubers. Long story short, when you support the original content the same way you do these reactions, it helps us produce more of it. So be kind, rewind. All right, let's get it. I'm gonna bring it back to the beginning and um, I'm gonna see what my wife got to say about that big energy that's in the room. Hey, helicopter that sh helicopter. Okay, sorry. <laughs> How are you? Fantastic. The other day I got to... Hold on. Are you familiar with Bill Burr? No. You've never heard of Bill Burr? Mm -mm. Oh, so this is a first time blind reaction. Yeah. I have no idea. Yo, he's like a goat. He's like a Dave Chappelle. He's like up there. He's like a one of the illest comedians. I, like I just don't. I'm not. I don't know. You're just into your own stuff. Me and you are into different stuff. I just read books. And you're into girly stuff. Like the, the movies you watch, I would never watch. Like what was the movie you were watching the other night? Like with your sister? She's the man. Oh, with my sister. Yeah. You were watching something. I was like, what is this? Oh, like Baby Mama. Baby Mama. So yeah. her idea of comedy and my idea of comedy, very different. All right, let's get it, though. Bill Burr, motherhood isn't the hardest job. I'm with my girlfriend, right? She likes watching the Oprah Winfrey show, and I love to watch her watch the Oprah show. And then I wait for Oprah to say something that I don't agree with, and then I take it out of my girlfriend because I'm an asshole. <laughs> so... Oprah brings out this guest, she gives her this huge intro. She's been on this, she's been on that, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's the mother. So immediately I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, really? Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet? How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? Okay. <laughs> Any moms get- uh -huh. Mothers die in childbirth. Hello. Probably more than ice truckers. You think? I have I no clue. That's hey, I I can tell you're here ready to fight. <laughs> She's ready to fight, you guys. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we get a laugh or if I get a jab. All right, here we go. Washed overboard on deadliest catch. <laughs> I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Oh, actually, well, it is your job to give birth, right? Yeah, to to yeah. create society. Yes, that's what we we're okay, built for. Okay, we're covered. All right, just trying to make sure my premises are right when we're battling jobs. Yeah. 
But, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, actually. But what would you rather have as a job? You want to scoop scallops off the bottom of the ocean, catching that lobster trap to the back of your head? Or do you want to hang in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats? You'd send them to bed anytime you want and some trumped up charges. Because you want to have a drink and watch the prices, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it is the most difficult job. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead, you know? I thought that that was a difficult job. I really did. I thought it was difficult. But evidently, evidently these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players, going to war, pinned down by a sniper. What a joke. You ever burp a baby and forget to put that towel up there? There's another shirt you gotta wash. Oh, lift with your knees and put it in that machine that does it for you. Dude, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. It isn't. I'm sure it's... Uh, that's a pretty good premise. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, I am tripping because I know your personality so yeah. well. If Bill Burr can make you laugh at this title, because the title I know you hate. Yeah. If he can make you laugh, he's a goat. <laughs> Let's go. Hell with these mothers. <laughs> Watching cartoons, taking naps. <laughs> Look, I'm messing around, but you know, come on. I know it's a difficult job, but the most difficult job on the whole planet. Remember when Saddam let the oil fields on fire and those poor bastards had to go put them out? 4,000 degrees. Walking in with your little asbestos shield. Just walking into flames. <laughs> You want to do that or watch Bob the Builder again? I mean, be honest with yourself. <laughs> uh, I got a reaction, dog recently. This reaction is making me tear up. <laughs> Why? Because no, of laughter. You oh, know how when you laugh, yeah. you start like, you're like, ah! All right. I did. I went down to the pound. I got one of those free dogs. Yeah, that's how I say it. I don't say I rescued a dog. I hate when people say that. It's like totally obnoxious. It's complete exaggeration. She's a rescue. Yeah, I rescued her. Really? Did you pull her out of a burning building? Did you jump in a river with your clothes still on with no concern for your own safety? Or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog? Isn't that what you did? Stop acting like you had to take out a couple of guards, crawl in on your elbows, using hand signals. Dude, you ever go down to the pound that they're just giving them away? They don't even do a background check. You want him? Hey, get out of here. <laughs> Who's next? You want a poodle? Come on, you got a perm. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> Actually, my, uh, my girlfriend got the dog when I, was, uh, when I was on the road. I was on the road, she got the dog. Classic girlfriend move, right? That's just a 10 to 15 year commitment. Why would you include me in that decision? <laughs> what would I need to know? So we're Skyping. I thought she got one of those little shit dogs, you know? Like a Yorkshire Terrier or something, you could punt across the room if it got out of line, right? <laughs> something you could take your day out on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so we're Skyping. I go, let me see it. So she pans around, and I think I'm going to see, you know, some little, little ch chihuahua, whatever the hell those dogs are. I'm, I'm immediately staring at like this hellhound, this just massive dog. And it looks, I start freaking out. I'm like, is that a pit bull? Please tell me you didn't get a pit bull. She's like, it's not a pit bull, it's a mix. <laughs> mix with what, another pit bull? Look at that thing. It's like it's been doing pull-ups its entire life. Uh -huh. Its front paws were still taped up and shadow boxing. It's got a teardrop tattoo, it's a pit bull. What more do you need to see? Oh, it gets worse. Her and a friend actually didn't get it down at the pound. They found it by the Los Angeles River. Yeah, this thing was the real deal. <laughs> She's sitting there going, it was out there for 10 days. Don't you think that's sad? No, it's scary. Because judging by its physique, it got plenty of protein over the last week and a half. You're a sucker for dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for our dog. Yeah. She drives you crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't eating nuts and berries, all right? It was choking out joggers. It was twisting heads off of rabbits. You brought a murderer into the house. <laughs> you just rescue an alligator while you're at it. Stick it under the bed. 
add to the excitement. <laughs> you know what's great though? I fell in love with the dog. Absolutely love this dog and I'm totally sold on the breed. And I know a lot of people don't like pit bulls because they ate a couple of kids. I understand that. <laughs> I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself at some point in your life to walk down the street with a pit bull. You gotta do it. It's tremendous. People just get out of the way. Three, four blocks away, they see me coming. They immediately start crossing the street. I love it. I feel like a king. I don't know why black people complain about that. I love, love having the whole side of the street to myself. It's awesome. Yeah. Black people have no idea how difficult it is as a white man to have to walk down the street every half a block, have frivolous conversations about the weather. Oh, I'm mad thinking it's gonna rain. Why? Why do we have to have this conversation? No, it's tremendous. I like the respect. Look at me. My whole life I've looked like Ron Howard. Do you realize that? My whole life I've been mugged repeatedly. I've never had any street cred whatsoever. The second they see this four-legged P90X body coming down the street, that's it. It's the best dog on the planet. You gotta get a pit bull, I'm telling you, man. It's like a gun you can pet. <laughs> Get two of them, come down to you, just strapped. Uh. All of a sudden, there's no line at the ATM. You like, it's just the whole world opens up for you. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up here. I, uh, I had lunch the other day. Uh, I'm a big time conspiracy theorist. I drive my girlfriend nuts. You know, I think they're about ready to microchip all of us. <laughs> yeah, they got this commercial down in the States. You know, they, you got that commercial up here. I'm a conspiracy theorist as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why you looked at me immediately. <laughs> Okay. Duracell batteries. They're selling batteries, and the commercial is some woman can't find her kid in the park. That's how they're selling batteries. The hell kind of way is that to sell batteries? Do you remember the old commercials? They just show some guy in a rainstorm, has a flat, pulls out a flashlight. Oh, thank God he had Duracell. You can see how wet I'm getting. That was it. Now they're showing this woman she can't find her kid in the park. She's sitting there going, Kevin? Kevin? Has anybody seen Kevin? Sitting there freaking out, then she pulls out this little device. Beep, 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 and there comes Kevin running out of the woods. And they're like, Duracell batteries. It's like, dude, the hell with the batteries? What was that thing she just took out of her pocket? How did Kevin know to come out of the woods? He didn't have an antenna, his sneakers weren't glowing. What the hell is in Kevin that's connected to that device? Don't you show me that like that's normal. Oh yeah, robot kids, hey, must go see mommy. <laughs> you guys were awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, welcome to your introduction to Bill Burr. How was it? <laughs> it was pretty good. Okay, I'll take that. I'll yeah. take pretty good. I could tell he was joking in the beginning, but also, I, I mean, it is true. It's not the hardest job. Hey! I, it's one. See you See you okay, it's one of the hardest jobs. But, like, compared to going to war, no. You can't compare that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, and admit it, I just feel you don't compare things, but I don't think you can compare going to war with anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that he's he's right. But I also, that's why he was like, you. this is what was cool about it, and I wanted to put you in front of it. I forgot about that, how he's just like, y'all know, he kind of said, you know I'm playing around, but, and then he yeah. would go into his scheme. Yeah. And it's funny because when you put it in perspective, it is really important to curate society, which is what women do with children. That's very important. Mm -hmm. And it is is difficult. But the most yeah, difficult, the hardest really job. Like when you start talking about war and when he's like talking about the fields with Saddam, and you're like, yeah. oh, yeah. Like, and it's just funny the way he put it because look at all the women that are in the crowd too. Everyone's just laughing. Yeah. And it's because real good comedians could take a hard truth and really uh, just get everyone to laugh about it. And that's why like racial stereotypes, da, da, da. I was mainly trying to put you in front of the mother. I for this was kind of like an extended clip. The last part is just funny, but I really wanted you to see the motherhood part. And I think there, I, I picked the wrong clip, but it was still oh. good to see because yeah. it's, it's only like three minutes, I think, versus this one. Oh, okay. And I thought the whole thing was about motherhood. You know what I'm oh. saying? But it's all good. That's tight. Hey, got a little laugh out of you. Hey, I ain't even mad, Bill Burr. Shout out to the goat. You guys, let me know what you thought of this reaction. Uh, what do you think of Bill Burr? And what is the hardest job in the world? And how does motherhood rank up to that? Now, no, childbirth no childbirth is pretty wild. 
That's pretty so, crazy. Okay, some days I feel like I'm dealing with a possessed demon. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you. Raise it again. Like, <laughs> I keep it real. I ain't trying to do be, I ain't trying to do all that. I'm here to help. Yeah. But I, yeah. It's a difficult job. I'll, I'll keep it real. I'll keep it real. But all right, you guys. Um, tap in, like, share, comments on all the content. If you rock with the vibe, you know what to do. Subscribe. 40. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. F U Q boy. 40. 40. She missed it again.